So there's an article that I sent you um, about Wednesday. There's about 20,000 people who was at the, the NASCAR event in Tennessee. Um, so the, the all-star race winner, he said that tonight felt like an event again. I felt like we've been missing that piece for a couple of months. So my first, I understand that uh, some of the stuff is we miss going out, being together and all that, but 20,000 people during a pandemic, um, I don't think I could, uh, I, I can handle that. How, uh, would you have gone? Um, no. I wouldn't have. Um, you, number one, huh? Even if you was a big fan of NASCAR? Yeah, I wouldn't have gone because, like, this pandemic, it's not something to take, like, to play with. And even, like, when going to small events, I'm scared. Like, I'm telling my mom, I hope this is an outside event. So then, therefore, I can social distance. And then I wear my mask, you know, gotta be careful. So it's just something. This coronavirus, I don't think like people are taking it. They're taking it serious, but they're not being aware or cautious until you know they know somebody who has it or like a family friend or something like that. And even if I was a big fan of NASCAR, I probably would have thought about it. You know, probably oh, okay. Oh, um, you know NASCAR, and I want to get out, have fun. You know, go to the race and everything. But I probably you know would have had to sit back and actually say, okay, does it really benefit me to go into this race and watching it? Or, and maybe, you know, catching the virus, or can I just stay home and then there'll be another event sometime or whenever. That's probably what I would have done. I'm not going to say that like, I, oh, no, no, no. I haven't even thought about going. Because, you know, yeah, I, I'm a human too. So I'm a, I would have thought about going if I was a big NASCAR fan, but I'm not. So that's just, you know, my opinion on it. I mean, I know I'm a I'm an introvert, so I don't mind all this staying at home and all that, but at some point I was like, okay, we're four months in and uh I I miss people. <laughs> and so uh, but twenty thousand just seems like too much. That that's too big of a risk for me to be out there. Um, with people hollering and all that stuff. And I ain't trying to risk getting nothing. Um, I, I didn't even know that um, that happened until you sent it to me because I haven't seen them. No social media, nothing like that. Yeah, of course they're not going to post that because we're not supposed to be having those events. Right, that is true. It's not going to be uh, big like that unless you are a part of, like I saw somebody had, but, like, your social media feed is really based off of what you like. Oh, mm, yeah. That, yeah. Of course, if you don't like NASCAR and you don't follow people who like NASCAR, of course you're not going to see it. <laughs> yeah. That's like, um, that's like with TikTok. Um, I don't know if you have TikTok or not, but I do. And, like, my For You page is just stuff that I have liked previous. And so, you know, it'll just keep popping up. So, you know, like dances, uh, challenges and stuff like that. That's what pops up on my feed. So I do agree with that. You know, the things that you like the most is the thing that you will see either on your For You page or your, um, I forgot that page called on Instagram, but you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Your timeline. There you go. Ooh, girl. <laughs> But it, it, it's just amazing how we are really risking this thing. Like, um, there's no vaccine yet. Um, they're still testing some things, um, testing people to see how things are going. But I, I wouldn't risk it, uh, at least not right now. Or if I was to go, I wouldn't sit amongst the crowd and I would have my mask on. Um, and, and speaking of masks... Here in Georgia, we got a bit of a, 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 a 
a fight going on, a debate, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, people call it a politics thing. Other people call it a safety thing. Um, here we are in Savannah, and um, our mayor um, has been on CNN and uh, ABC and all that stuff talking about what's going on. Our governor has uh, put out. Really? Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah, he's been on all the national news. And he's been talking about how the governor has banned the mayors from uh, making it mandatory that we wear masks. And here he is in Atlanta. The governor is in Atlanta with the mayor with the mayor of Atlanta who has COVID, and he's suing her because she made a mandate that Atlanta had to wear masks. So it's just crazy to me how we have put politics above the safety of the people. Okay, so like I understand, you know, make masks mandatory. Of course, if I was the mayor or had some type of power, I would do that as well to make the cases go down. Because ever since the mayor of Savannah put that in place, I haven't heard anything about cases going up or anything. I really don't know, but to me, I haven't heard anything about the cases spiking or whether or not. So I really do believe that the masks are a big help and they're bringing the cases down or whatever. And that the mayor, um, Mayor Johnson and Mayor Keisha of Atlanta, I do believe that they're, you know, they're, they're more concerned about the people than the politics. But also I can see where the governor Kemp is coming from because he's like, okay, maybe, you know, people need to wear masks. Yes, they do need to wear masks, but also you got to think again, this is a free nation, and we have freedom of speech. We have freedom, you know, everything. And he's probably just saying, okay, you can't make somebody do something because regardless or not, they're people, we're human. We're going to do what we want to do. So I get where he's coming from. But then again, I get where the mayors are coming from. But it's just a safety issue and a health issue. So I'm going to leave more to the mayor side because, like, I know you may not want to wear the mask, but it's also for your benefit and other people's benefit of not catching COVID. So I think people, you know, should probably just take into consideration about what's going on before they choose not to wear masks or they choose not to. Because I know masks can get tiring. Yes, they can. It can be hard to breathe in, especially outside. And if you live in Savannah, it's hot. It's 100 degrees outside. So I do not blame them at all. If they, you know, want to take it off. Catch your breathing for a moment and then put it back on. But yeah. Oh, that's 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 interesting. Well, I don't agree with nothing the governor is saying. <laughs> oh <laughs> I don't I don't that's your that's your opinion or whatever. But I don't agree with nothing he's saying. Man, the man is just trying he's ah, just being him. And he following what that man's saying in the White House. I, I, I understand that. Well, you, you're right. This is a free country. But when it comes to the safety of, of the people, whatever we need to do that is going to prevent something from causing more people to die, if they just stop and look at how many people have already died from this, this virus, then they'll stop and say, okay, and it's, we're not saying we're going to be wearing masks for the rest of our lives. It's just for a certain period. Well... <laughs> but the CDC um, director said that if everybody wears the mask for about four to eight weeks, we will have control over this virus. But everybody's not following it. Like it was a man who, I'm sorry, I, I mean, karma is something. But he was posting that he ain't wearing no mask. Um, he's saying, this is what you're saying. It's a free country, and he not wearing no mask. Y'all not making me wear that. He was making fun of other people who wear masks, you know, people that wear masks for their, um, their, uh, their culture. Um, he was making fun of them and all that stuff. And then I think July the 1st, he caught COVID. And July 4th, he died from complications of COVID. 
it's not nothing to play with. This is really something. This is serious business, man. And a lot of people are taking it for granted. And a lot of times we don't get, we don't take things serious until it hits home. So until somebody gets it that's close to us, then we'll take it serious. Yeah. Like when the mayor got it from Atlanta, that should have, that should have told Atlanta, y'all need to chill out. If your own mayor got it, then uh, y'all sitting here having pool parties and, and, and all this stuff. Mm-hmm. Y'all keep playing with it if you want to. Yeah, the crazy thing is that um, I went to Atlanta, what was that, Saturday? I went to Atlanta Saturday. But when I was up there, you know, I had on my mask. Oh, I was scared of people. <laughs> if my aunt, she went inside Walmart. I said, oh, no, I'm not going inside Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to sound one And I was like so scared. I was like, oh. But you know, I just, you know, prayed before we went up there and then prayed while coming back because we had to take it serious. Um, yes, I was wearing my mask every day. Um, except when we went walking because I was not about to exercise in the heat with my mask on and then die. Uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> <laughs> Especially, we were the only ones walking anyway, so it was like, True. yeah, and I was not about to wear no mask and um, me exercising, and then I kept, yeah, yeah, no, but yes, I do wear. I was wearing my mask when I was up there, and you know, it was just I had to keep like prayers and everything, and keep God on my side, and just you know that everything's gonna be okay and stuff. Yeah, bottom line is um, we can be as safe as we want or or whatever, but it's all in God's hands. Um, We just got to trust him that he's going to protect us from it um, because we don't know where this thing came from uh, or or what what is what, what the end is going to be. But um, if we're still surviving, then we got to survive. Wow. Is necessary, and if it takes me putting on a mask to go inside of a store, then hey, I'm gonna do that um, and take every precaution necessary. So, like, uh, like most of the stores now, like Walmart, they just—I think they started it or they started it where you have to uh, wear your mask to come in the store, and so a lot of stores are doing it. So, hopefully, we all can just. Put aside our differences, especially here in Georgia, um, that the governor sees that this is not this is not a chess game, but but this is this is people's lives. 